Hey guys, today I'm going to continue on my Watchmen topic I did from earlier today. Uh, I was actually suggested by a user, Peter Parker, to talk about my thoughts on the Watchmen HBO series. And honestly, I kind of forgot this was happening. But, you know, this could be a really good thing or a really bad thing, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, they could potentially try to make something in the Watchmen universe and expand it, which... I think kind of goes to the same problem with Doomsday Clock, where there's no point in expanding a one and done story. The other route they could do is readapt it again, which could go very well or very bad. I think the thing they should do if they readapt it was probably do a 12 part series, maybe like a 13 part series, cover all the comics, maybe go a little more in depth, have like a Minutemen episode I think would be kind of cool expanding that story. But otherwise, I think what you could do is kind of make each issue and expand the contents of that issue to a uh, an episode length theme between like 43 to 60 minutes. Um, then there's a lot more you can do with the thing, uh, with what we have at hand. I think um, Zack Snyder's was very stylized in Zack Snyder's style, which I don't think perfectly matches up with the comics. Although there were a lot of good parts of Zack Snyder's movie, uh, it definitely, I don't think, looked as visually appealing, so maybe do more accurate costumes to what we saw in the original comic, or even if you want to change up the costumes a bit, maybe make it a little more like the original comic, where the world was kind of, it was kind of different. It wasn't like a standard dystopian future. It wasn't kind of that gritty Zack Snyder style. It was a really gritty, dirty world, yet it was also kind of unique in its own way and I think if they could somehow figure out how to capture it I'm all for this series uh, do I think they'll be able to that's a hard question to say and depending what liberties they take with the story you know this could be a really pointless adaption or this could be a really good adaption it all kind of depends on what they decide to do in setting up the world and setting up these characters how close it wants to follow the story is it going to be an exact adaption? Is it going to take liberties? Is it going to take more liberties than like Zack Snyder's film? And is it even going to be a story worth telling when we have the graphic novel, which is a masterpiece that you can read, and we have the Zack Snyder movie, which did an alright job capturing the graphic novel, although I don't think it was on the same level. So for this to even be worthwhile, it has to improve on the Zack Snyder film. So there's a lot that can go wrong. I think my my comparison is, again, kind of like Doomsday Clock, where it's almost pointless. I think as a comic fan, it might be cool as, like, a supplementary thing, but, I mean, we already have the Zack Snyder movie, which, yeah, there's parts I disagree with in the Zack Snyder movie, but all in all, if I want to watch Watchmen get the visual, I'll watch the Zack Snyder movie. It's not completely terrible. But again, at the end of the day, if I want to experience Watchmen, I still believe the best way to do it is the comic. I mean, that's the medium it was made for. That's the medium I think it works best for. But I think it would trans translate pretty well with an HBO television show if put in the right hands and if done correctly. But of course, the concern is what the studio is going to want to do. Are they going to want to censor it a little bit? I know HBO would probably let them get away with pretty much everything in Watchmen. And I think HBO is probably smart enough to say, like, look, if we're going to adapt this, we shouldn't, like, you know, cut some things out because it might make some people uncomfortable. Like, that's the point of Watchmen, you know. There are those edgy moments you wouldn't commonly see in a superhero adaption because this is a dark fucking story, you know what I'm saying? So, overall, I'm optimistic about the idea. I'm interested in the idea. I don't see it as fully necessary, so if the project fell through, I wouldn't have my feelings hurt. Um, again, if you're looking for a visual supplement, I don't think Zack Snyder's film did a horrible job. But, you know, maybe if they expand upon the comic and they take it issue by issue, then this might be cool. What I don't want is, like, a fucking Game of Thrones-style series where they're, like, Watchmen Season 8. That would be fucking stupid. I don't know how you do that without either taking super liberties, placing it before Watchmen, and placing it after Watchmen. There's a lot of things that can go wrong when you stray from the story. 
especially such a beloved story that really doesn't need to be expanded at all. I mean, we look at what we saw with before Watchmen turned out really fucking badly. Most of those books sucked, and the ones that were good didn't hold a finger to the original. So, those are my thoughts on the HBO series. I don't really fully know what I think of it yet. I hope it's good. I think it could be good, but only time will tell. We're gonna need to see trailers to figure out what they're doing visually with it. We're gonna need the show to see the show structure, and we're gonna need more information, but as of now, I could see it being interesting. I'm I'm skeptical but interested. But at the end of the day, I still think the best way to experience this this story would likely still be in comic form, which if you haven't read Watchmen somehow, I would definitely recommend it. Check it on Yeah, I know. I picked up the graphic novel from Half Price Books for like 10 bucks. I'm sure it's around the same price on eBay and Amazon. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Comment below what you think of the new Watchmen TV series, and I'll catch you guys next time.